Hey everybody, Jason here. So I'm out at Algonquin Park on an invitation from Chris at Algonquin Base Camp. He invited me to come out and test some of his equipment with some of his friends and colleagues. And after the four hour drive, then we set out the next morning. Yeah, really, it's just a chance to come out in a safe environment. Um, we're not doing distance. It's just a chance to, you know, put your hands on equipment and try things out and see what works and what doesn't work. And then with the supportive program, we can grow with the person as they sort of grow and want to be on, go beyond, uh, you know, sort of just base camping. I've done a lot of ice fishing and stuff and wanted to spend the night but never took that step. I think doing with a group of people is what did it for me. Now I'm kind of hooked. <laughs> that was a good time. I, well, the, the, the hot tent was really what made it wow, great because it had a place to kind of step out of, out of the cold. I wasn't in there a lot but when I did go in it was kind of nice to kind of get ready for bed or whatever. Yeah, I'm kind of hooked. There's a lot to learn. Um, a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. And sure. Chris takes a lot of that off your back, right? So definitely uh, a great experience and I can't wait to get out and do it again, right? Definitely uh, we'll definitely a great experience for sure. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than this, right?
I uh, really especially like the uh, big uh, snow tractor tank. Uh, it's very nice to have a big group out and then everybody gathers around the stove at night in a, in a big tent. Lots of laughter. So yeah, it's a great experience. So it was really nice to be out with a group this time around, get to meet some people and share some stories, have a laugh, have a drink, have some nice hot stew over the, the stove at night. Um, you know, the, the communal aspect of the, uh, the experience and having that uh, big uh, base camp tent to sit in, uh, it was definitely unique. It's the first time for me. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. So it's been really nice and quiet. There hasn't been anybody else out here other than us. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's the cold or if it's the uh, the snowfall. Uh, maybe it's the lack of experience. Uh, whatever it is, it's really nice to be out here. Uh, nice and quiet. Uh, the cold is definitely an issue and there's definitely a set of skills that you need. Uh, it was nice being out with this group because everybody had some skills to bring. The Snow Trekker tent itself is an interesting setup. It's uh, definitely time consuming. Uh, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of work. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if it's worth having for a single day trip, uh, for a multi-day trip. I can see the benefit having somewhere warm, uh, you know, to sit in in the evening, cook your dinner, and even if you needed to dry out your gear, it's a, kind of the plague of winter camping is the fact that you're always dealing with condensation. So having a snow tracker to just air everything out and uh, to try to dry it out as well as some of our gear you know be able to take your toque off and put it near the wood stove uh, definitely benefit there so for multi-day trips I can definitely see the value in a snow tracker uh, th the same I think there's a huge uh, learning curve with it and I think one of the things that uh, having this experience that I would recommend is definitely go out with an outfitter uh, like base camp um, you know and have it you know, uh, an assisted trip first so that you can see how things are done, uh, you know, the setup and what it takes. You know, anyone watching this knows that equipment is, you know, it's pricey these days and uh, one of those hot tents is, you know, definitely fits into that category. Uh, I think to, you know, put that money out to have your own snow trekker tent without the experience, uh, it's just kind of silly, really. You know, it's the same argument uh, that I would make for canoes and other outdoor experiences uh, it's I think uh, you know I don't want to insult anyone <laughs> of course you know but I would think you know you can compare it to maybe you know rock climbing very few people would go and you know buy all their rock climbing gear and then go decide that they're gonna go climb Everest without getting any type of experience uh, you know that's an extreme example but you know in reality you know it's minus 15 out and 25 centimeters of snow and uh, you know, a lot can go wrong in the time out here. Um, you know, it really isn't a joke. And so, you know, take in the first, you know, first trip or first few trips and have them supported with someone who's experienced. I can definitely see the value in that. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of this adventure and this video. And yeah, looking forward to sharing the next one with you. Okay, so thanks for watching.